This video is on Gladitsia triacanthos honey locust and the Fabaceae, the pea bean or legume family, the fruit types of legume, and that epithet triacanthos means three branched. So this species is native west of the Appalachians originally, kind of in the central U.S., but it's been widely planted. It's really common in landscape and it's naturalized all throughout the east. You'll see it growing um, along roadsides and old field edges and things like that. See, it's a really common species here in the wild in North Carolina. And the, the pulp inside those legumes was formerly eaten by Native Americans and also used by settlers to brew beer. Those seeds are also eaten by many mammalian species like deer and possum and things like that. And unlike many other legumes, this species does not fix nitrogen. So to identify this plant, we'll start with the leaves. The so leaves are alternate and the cool thing about them is that they can either be compound like this on the left or bipainly compound like this one here on the right so you have both on the same tree compound and bipainly compound leaves um, so if we look at just a regular compound leaf here the leaflets are really really small rounded blunt tips and there's no terminal leaflet so no terminal leaflet there's lots of leaflets though i mean many leaflets more than 10 easily sometimes more than 20 even so here's your compound leaf. You'll see these on the tree, and then you'll also see bipinately compound leaves like this, where each of the leaflets is divided into subleaflets. Um, so this is this bigger, more multi-branch look to this leaf. Again, though, there's there's no terminal leaflet, and then no terminal subleaflet either. So you get a look for those really small, um, really small leaflets on the leaves or subleaflets if you got a bipinately compound leaf. And remember those leaves are alternate. And then one of the more obvious things about this tree is that they often have thorns. You can kind of see those thorns way up in there. And those thorns are often branched. They're really, really sharp. And they're protruding all up along these branches, all along the twigs. And they often come right out of the bark too in big clumps. So really, really spiky thorns. Let's see if I can find one closer. Take a look at these thorns. Right there. Really long, sharp thorns all over the tree. But a lot, of, a lot of times when this species is planted, there's many cultivars that don't have thorns. So we're gonna take a look at those right now. So now we're at a planted honey locust here on campus. Um, this is a variety that has no thorns, so you won't notice any thorns along the branches or along the trunk at all on this one. Um, thornless cultivars are really common in honey locusts, so this isn't unusual to see at all. But this one, I brought you to this one to show you the most important, or really the coolest thing about this plant is these big legumes. I mean, these legumes are massive. They dangle off the ends of the branches, so you can see them all up there. Um, the legumes are big and twisted. I mean, really long. You can see just how long it is there and often twisted. And those, are pers those will persist all through winter. So you can see them all up on this tree. This tree's dropped almost all its leaves by now, but still got those persistent legumes. Um, you should also note that there's some varieties you'll see that won't have these fruits. There's non-fruiting varieties, so those can occur too. And we'll also talk about the bark while we're here at these big ones. So when the bark is mature, it splits into these big kind of flat peely ridges. So you can see how they're kind of crinkled up at the edge. Here's a look there kind of raised edges to these really broad, flat plates. And it's also got lenticels. You can see all those horizontal lenticels on these big plates. And again, often in the wild, you'll see clumps of thorns poking out of this, of the trunk. And that's really quite common to see. So your big keys for ID for this one, remember persistent or big thorns often branched, um, but a lot of these varieties won't have those thorns. And then you've got your bark here those big flat plates with crinkled edges, noticeable lenticels, and then remember the leaves from the first part of the video, alternate pinately compound or bipinately compound with lots of little leaflets or subleaflets, um, no terminal ones though, and those big twisted pods all along those branches, really key for honey locust.